Okay, in this video, um, we're going to be looking at how we use this template itself. Um, in the previous video, we created this template, we finished it all off, we've got the buttons working, we've got a footer there as well for accessibility features, but everything's been set up. Uh, the only thing we haven't uh, done is basically choose a font for here. So you may want to just basically, you know, fix that before you use the template. So I'm going to just simply um, change the default here to make sure it's left and top. So you can see the cursors at the top here, do the same thing here. Top, left, here as well, left, and top. And the font, you know, you could just choose the font from here. And, you know, just for this example, you know, normally I wouldn't go for this font, but purely because of this, the, the design that we have here, uh, it just matches it, you know, for me anyway, I feel it just closely resembles that the font that we use in the, the banner itself. I'm going to go for Times New Roman. Now, I'm going to give this new CSS style, uh, the, the, the font or the name, body or main body, main body. Um, just because I know that's a font for that, so I'm going to press OK. And... Oh yeah, it shouldn't be any spaces, that's why I just make sure there's no spaces here. Press delete, there we go. Press OK, there we go. And there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to make sure when it edits it. So we go, it's got times in Roman. We need to change the size. So let's make it maybe a 14. And the colour, uh, that should be normal. The colour should be, um, let's see, um, since it's a light colour here, it should be a dark colour, obviously. So this is going to be um, hashtag three 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 apply and press OK okay there it is and what I'm also going to do is I want to make a bold text as well because when you have titles you may want to make them bold just because it's easier to easier on the eyes maybe even a different color so you can decide if you want to bring in other colors in here you might even want to break you know as you go to create your pages add introduce other colors for the background itself so we'll have to play you know play around with this um, so just for now though, I'm going to create another CSS rule, so right click CSS rule, new, um, and I'm going to call this one bold font, and I'm going to press OK, and again it's going to be the same Times New Roman, but this time it's going to be bold, and the font size is going to be, um, I believe it was 14 before, I'm going to just do that for now, and put hashtag 333333, press apply, press OK. So I'm going to go in there, just double check this, so that says 14, that's fine. That's main body, footer, bold font, it's 14 as well, can you see bold font. So right now though, this here is the main font, so that's going to be main body. And that's going to be main body as well. And that's going to be main body as well, there we go. And I'm going to save that, done. So what we need to do now is obviously create the pages. And if you go back over here, you'll see we're now up to number five of this list. So we're pretty close to the end, believe it or not. So most of this work here is all around organizing our folders, organizing our thoughts, create the table, and make the overall look of your website. Once this is done, you just basically create the pages from your template. And boys and girls, it's, it's very simple. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's simply a case of copy and pasting. There are other ways, of course, but for the, the purpose of this exam, really don't have to do any more than, let me just cross this off here, than just copy and pasting this. So now, if you're at home, you may have the, access, uh, the ability to right click and then just go copy from here and then paste next to it side by side. Or it should be just simply, if you're at you school, um, sometimes depending on your accessibility uh, rights, your access rights, you may not have the right to be able to right click and copy. So just go to organize here and copy. And then simply go organize, paste, as many as you need. So we know we need five pages. Going back up here, you'll see one, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to paste it five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're not going to use the template anymore. That that was the main purpose of the template, so that we can copy and paste it like this. So if the, in, the, in the exam you ask for three pages, you'd copy and paste it three times. If it asks for four pages, you copy and paste it four times. You just look at how many pages you need, copy and paste it, the number of times you need. The next thing you need to do is change the names. So we know if the first one's called home page. Um, we know one of them's web design page. Oop. And we have um, design temp design trends, I believe. Let's have a look. Web design page. Oh, I've just realised something. 
I've made a mistake. It should be features page, not design and web design. It should be features and about about page. So it's very, very important that you read these properly. And I'm certain I've made a mistake there. Let me just have a look at my template. And this is, it can very easily happen to anyone if you're rushing. So I've got web design and I've got design trends. And really, those are not the two buttons that we need. So what I need to do is I need to go back and change my home page is fine. If you look here, home page is fine, but we need a features page and an about page. These are separate. So I've, I need to do two of my buttons again. Okay. So very, very careful. I mean, to be honest, I'm glad I made that mistake. You know, it just shows that it can happen to anyone. So boys and girls, always read it. So I'm going to have to delete these two and do it again. So, um, Bear with me, I'm going to come back to you once I've done that. So if you need to do this again, go back to the um, previous uh, video where I create the buttons. If you spotted that mistake, well done. Um, obviously, I it went over my head. So I'm going to pause the video here and show you what it should really look like. Okay, so this is um, after it's been updated. You can see now I've got features page and about page, and that matches what the specification is here. Home page, features page, about us, about page. And from the features page, we're going to have these two. So that's why I had to redo them. I created these two buttons instead of making that button and this button. So this is a separate task, which we'll do later on. And we're going to cover in one of the later videos. So now that has been corrected, we can now go back to creating those web pages. So I've gone back to my folder, web pages, you'll see I've only got my template again. And as I said, copy, paste, paste. So that's two, three, four, and five. And first one is, oh, I double clicked it. Didn't want to do that. Cross that off. Put that down, there we go, go back here. So home page. And we've got features page. And then we have, and we can make these two pages. So we're gonna put web design page. And design trends, yep. And the last one is about page. There we go. So we have all the pages now. Template we're not going to use anymore. And all we've got to do is basically uh, now start filling in the text. So you'll see, looking back at here, we made the pages. We need to get the text. Okay. Now for the text, it's very simple. You don't need to, you know, stress over having the exact text at the right place. Of course, you get marks for relevance and having the right um, information in the correct pages, but you shouldn't kill yourself over it and waste you know, half the exam just thinking about that and dwelling over it. You do the best you can. You look for the clues and you copy and paste it in. So you have to go back into the folders. But before we do that, it's to be a, it would be a good idea to open them all up on Dreamweaver. So we simply just double click and let it load. So you can see it says homepage there. Double click. There we go. Double click. And do that for every single page. Now, before I do put the text in there, I'm going to name each one up here at the top where it says title as well. Because what I want to show you is this if I open up here in Chrome, um, at the moment, obviously, it looks identical to the you know the template page, which is supposed to. But you notice here at the top, at the, the, the top, the, tit the tab, sorry, is the word I'm looking for. It just says untitled document. Whereas if you go back here and you see it's a title, you give the name as it is there. So about page. And press enter. It changes it. If I save it and go back over here refresh it, it pops up there as well. Just makes it a little bit more easy on the, uh, in terms of navigation, makes it look more professional as well. So you do that for all of these. So just go in there, go to the title, 
and just type in the name design trends page save next one Web design page save next one features page save and home page save okay and now all you have to do is go and find the text so like i said there's always a file there it is info you open it up and what I tend to do is cut and paste it as I go along. That way it gives me an indication of um, how much information is left uh, as you go through it. And um, this is the first time I'm looking at, at it. And you can see that it's two pages or two sides long. And you just go through it and find out what you think goes where. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video here and show you the end result. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I've got so far. Now, it was pretty, it was pretty easy simply because a lot of these, uh, the text itself actually had the subtitles above it. So this whole paragraph or these three sections, paragraphs had the title about there. So that goes to the about page. All these here had the design trends above it. So I just copied and pasted it or cut and pasted it in there. This one said web design. So that goes straight to the web design page. This one actually had the word features on it. So all that went in there. And therefore, by default, the rest of them had to come to the uh, home page. And this is a lot more in the home page section. So all we've got to do now is basically save each one of these. And just make sure that we start adding uh, or start formatting some of the text just to make it a little bit nicer on the eyes themselves. Now we won't know what we're working with here until we know what images have to go in here uh, but we can do a couple of things um, just to make it a little bit easier on the eyes. So for example here on this text and this is why you have to read it you can see that this is a list okay you can see there's a column there so therefore that's a list you have to go in and add an unedited list I if memory serves me well it is here somewhere if I could find it hmm, where is it where is it Unedited list. My mind has gone blank. Ah, there it is. It's in list. Of course. So format, list, and unordered list. And it gives you that. Now, obviously, you can see it's, just, it's only entered a, a one bullet point. So you just delete underneath it, press enter, and it adds another bullet point. Goes in, go underneath, delete, enter. Go underneath, delete and enter, and that's that. Uh, and just look out for anything else that needs to be uh, arranged just to make it a little bit nicer um, and a little bit easier on the eyes. Um, you might need to add a full stop there. Take a look at some sample pages for edition, okay. And we're going to be moving some of these around as we go along anyway. So. Uh, once you've done that, go on to the next page and just see if there's anything else that needs to be done. So you can see that should be a list as well. So I'm going to select all that. Mm, format, list, unordered list. I may have to enter. Now do it. List, unordered list. There we go. There we go. Go underneath, delete, enter. go and just space some of these out make it a little bit nicer keep the title there or the subtitle um, that's fine there let's look at this one yep let's make this go down a little bit as well good let's put a full stop there next one space there yep that's all fine next one space there all good okay so that's that um, and then all I need to do is basically put the 
bold into each section. So you'll see we've got the bold font ready there. Just let us select that and puts the bold in for you nice and neat. Okay, that might be, oh no, that's undo. There we go. So you've got that there. Save, go to the next one. And just make it a little bit easier on the eyes, nice and neat. And like I said, I'm going to select just the titles, and that's the reason why I've put so created this bold font just so that they are in there. Um, it says here as well, here are three top top trends, so therefore these three are actually it's a list. So we have to go to format list, and this one's going to be an ordered list one, two, three. Okay, and in fact, we could actually afford to make this bold. And since this is a trend, let's highlight that as well. Bold. Bold. And bold. And like I said, just use your common sense, some initiative, and put a little bit of a design flair in there. Make it look nicer on the eyes. And make it stand out. Yep. Yep, 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 that's fine. Maybe highlight this. This is quite an important fact, so I'm going to highlight that as well. You don't have to, but it just shows that you read it and that you understand the content, the context of the, the text provided. And that's basically it. So I'm going to save that now. Make sure they're all saved. Okay, and that's basically it. That's how easy it is to create uh, your pages and insert text.